Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I'm pretty excited for this video because it is going to be another single shadow Saturday and this week I decided to go ahead and go through all my single shadows and pull out colors to do a specific color story. So recently Give Me Glow Cosmetics came out with the Vintage Rose Palette which was a mixture of some very grungy greens and some pinks and roses and just those kind of tones and then I also saw a picture that was an edit from Julie K. March on Instagram. I mentioned her in any makeup releases when I showed this palette and I just briefly mentioned that she had been the one who did it but I should have gone more in depth because I want to say that you should really follow her. She does so many beautiful color combinations and interesting eye looks while all, they're still incredibly wearable and I just really am so happy that I found her on Instagram. Her content always inspires me so definitely check her out if you haven't already. But she made this little edit that I'm throwing on screen here I'm assuming or maybe here, who knows. And it was a supposed to be a better version of the X's and O's palette from ColourPop and I thought that was really beautiful, the mixture of the greens and the pinky ready, just, you know, the, the tones. And it was also based off of the outside packaging that had roses on it. So I was kind of thinking about how much I'm loving this rose theme and I thought I'm gonna do a rose palette. So I did not take either of those two palettes and like just completely look at them and go off and like try and like dupe it out with my singles. I didn't even pull up pictures when I was going through my singles. It was just an idea I had in my head where I was like, I want to do some really pretty, like greeny, grassy, like not grassy, but just like nature type greens. And then also some pinks and reds and blush tones. And I thought it would be a really beautiful combination. And then I did go ahead and pull out some duochromes that have a mixture of the green and the pink. So I'm super excited about this color story. I think it's really pretty and it's obviously what I'm wearing on my eyes today. So I've got a mixture of some of the pinky tones and then the greens. So I'll just go ahead and show you what it looks like. I, I know I always get questions. So this palette is a little It's A palette, which I got on like super clearance. I think these are originally like $24 and I got them for $2 each. So I would not recommend paying full price because that's a lot for a, just a little tiny palette but it is super nice if it was two dollars or even maybe like five dollars is how much i would pay for it but anyways this is the color story it is stunning so you can see there's a mixture of pinks and reds and greens i really went back and forth with how to organize this palette just because i wanted it to all kind of go together even though greens and pinks and reds are like such opposite sides of the color spectrum they just there, there's such a contrast, which I think is beautiful, but I just wanted, I don't know, I rearranged this palette like six times is what I'm trying to say, and I went through so, all, so many singles and swatched them all, and I'm really happy with what the final palette looks like, so I wanted to kind of do a gradient and have some lighter tones, some mid-tones, some deeper tones, but also have pinks and reds in mattes, and pinks and reds in shimmers, and then greens in mattes and shimmers just so it would give a lot of dimension while still keeping true to the color story. And then also there are four different duochromes in here that have a pink and a green hint to them, or a red and a green hint, and I think that's super fun. So I, I just, I don't know, I love putting color stories together. So I hope you enjoy the way this palette looks like. If you get inspired to do this with your own collection or you make any looks, please feel free to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see them. It makes me so happy. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump on into swatching them all out, showing you what each shade is and kind of just telling you what I love about the shades. Uh, also, if you are curious about my eye look, it's not going to be in today's video. I just filmed it as an Instagram tutorial. So that'll be going up sometime somewhat around the same time as you see this it might be a few days afterwards it just depends on when i get the time to edit it but i did film it in case you want to see it and i feel like i'm gonna be so disappointed when i like go through the footage because this eye look is so beautiful in person and even now on my monitor i can see it you just cannot see the tones in person because the lid is like a pink to a red tone base but they both have green shifts through them so when I move my eye it just looks so incredibly cool and on camera like I just feel like you cannot see the electric green shift going on my eyes. It's disappointing because it's so magical and I just want everyone to see the magicalness but anyways 
let's go ahead and start swatching. All right, so the first shade in the palette is Catastrophic from Kit and Boss Cosmetics. This is a really beautiful shade. It has kind of like a white base, but there's green and pink shifts throughout it, maybe even a little bit of blue if it catches the light right. It's an, an, a really beautiful, interesting inner corner duochrome, and you know it could not be my palette or my color story without a really beautiful inner corner shade. <laughs> You ever feel something on your foot and then there's a bug? No, no, you got to go. You have got to go. Anyways, here's what catastrophic looks like. So it has a really beautiful sparkle throughout it. It's kind of more subtle when it's swatched, but I think it does look really beautiful on the inner corner. And I just love the shift. It's really beautiful. So next from Davina, I have the shade Meraki, which is really pretty. It's what I have in my crease as my transition color today. And it's kind of like a blush tone, I would say. And I know that it's not the exact shade of what rose would truly be, but I just felt like it really went with the color story. It's a soft muted pink, kind of reminded me a little bit of the vintage rose palette. So that's where I was going with this one. And also, it is a really soft, creamy shadow, super pigmented and easy to blend, so I love the formula. And then next, jumping into one of the duochromes, this is the shade The Greatest Gift from Sydney Grace Cosmetics, which is so beautiful. It has a pink base to it, but I find it to be very interesting because the pink base is like a medium tone, and it's just, it's kind of like a soft, not soft, how do I describe this? It's a pink base with a green shift, but it's just, it's not too in your face. The just, it has a little bit more depth to it. It's a more deep pink than some other colors that I have that have green shifts that are also pinks is what I'm trying to say. So this is really, really beautiful. The formula is super creamy. It's extremely metallic and just a stunning shade all around. So here's what this one looks like. I didn't use this on my eyes today, unfortunately, just because there were so many beautiful colors but I will definitely be using it in this color story very, very soon. Look how beautiful. Look at that green shift. I think if you use Meraki all over the lid as like your transition and crease and everything, and then you put the greatest gift all over the lid, it would be the most beautiful two shadow look ever. So I really love how those two shades look next to each other. And while I'm here, I thought I would stop really quickly and do a little comparison because there is another shade from an indie brand that recently came out and it is uh, pretty much almost identical with the greatest gift so I just wanted to show you a little swatch comparison in case you're curious if you own one or the other or you just want to know like what is the better one so I have Sydney Grace the greatest gift which is the one I just talked about and then wild child from Luxie beauty so I don't know if you can tell when they hit the light and everything these are almost identical shades they are so so similar uh, I'm just going to swatch them on my hand really quickly just to show you. So, Sydney Grace, I think, I can't remember if this one is a pressed pigment. Does it say? Yes, it does. It says pressed pigment. So, I'm pretty sure that this is $6, but it has a super creamy formula. It's very intense. It's a little bit more on the thick side. So, there's the greatest gift. Let me just, like, swatch that a little bit better. Super beautiful. And then here is Wild Child, which Wild Child it is so much thinner. It's completely different formula wise. It just feels, it doesn't have that thickness that the Cine Grace formula has, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It just depends on what you personally like. And if you like a thicker shimmer or a thinner shimmer, that's a thinner, a shimmer, a thinner shimmer, a thinner shimmer that's on you to decide. But also, the Luxie one is only $2.50. I think originally $4, but they've been having their shadows on sale for $2.50 for quite a while. So, there's what they look like next to each other. I find the greatest gift to be a little bit more intense. And I think that the pink tone is also a little bit, like, deeper. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know. They're very, very similar. It's hard to point out exact differences, but I just feel like the greatest gift is more intense. And the pink tone has a little bit more of like a hotness to it, but it's just like the tiniest, tiniest amount difference. Overall, I personally, if I had to choose between both of them, I would choose the greatest gift just because I like the formula a little bit better. And like I said, I think it's just a tiny, tiny touch more intense. So it depends on what you want, but that's why I personally included the greatest gift in this palette rather than Wild Child. Although like they're both 
beautiful and you can get basically the same look with them. All right, next we have another duo chrome and this is Bubblegum from Luxie and this is a newer shade for them. It is so beautiful. So you can tell probably that it's a hot pink but it has an incredible green shift to it. It doesn't show up on camera the way that it is in real life. It is so intense and beautiful and it's what I have on the inner corner of my lid today. It's one of my favorite duo chromes. I'm so obsessed with it. Again, like only $2.50. It's got more of a, like, it's a different formula than the regular Luxie shadows, in my opinion. It's a little bit more, like, a little bit more loose, but it has this texture to it that is really, really stunning, and I just, I'm obsessed. So I had to include it. When I was thinking of pinks and greens, I was like, how could I not include this beautiful pink green shifting duochrome and also I feel like it just adds a little bit of brightness to the palette and I don't know I, I really like it so it's like my little pop of true pink but with the green so I love it and I think it looks so beautiful with the color that I paired it with on my lid which we'll get to in a little bit but I can't rave enough about bubblegum so next we're going on to a row of all green shades so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this one, which is called Climate Change from Cleona Cosmetics. It's a really beautiful kind of just light minty kind of green, I would say, but I really love the Cleona Cosmetics shimmer formula. So I was super excited to include it in here and I was looking for a light green. And when I saw this one, as I was going through my collection, I was like, that is perfect. So there is Climate Change, so pretty. And then next I had to do a matte green. So this is Granny Smith from Sydney Grace Cosmetics, which I believe is from their Danny's Dream Bundle. It's just a nice mid-tone green. Just a nice green. Nothing too crazy or anything. This is another shadow that's a little bit newer to my collection. So I was also excited to pull it in and incorporate it here. So there is Granny Smith. And then next for the green row, this one was definitely inspired by the Vintage Rose palette, specifically the shade Thorn is what made me think of this and pull this one into my palette. This is the shade Peridot from Amy Hearts Beauty, and it is a green, but it's kind of like this olivey gray, kind of just a more toned down green, and it reminded me so much of the shade Thorn that was in that palette just from what I remember seeing it. Thorn actually might have been a little bit deeper, but it's kind of the same vibes in my head basically. So I thought it would be really beautiful to include. And I have this popped onto my lower lash line on the middle here. And then I had a uh, climate change on the front of my lower lash line. So there is Peridot. So last but not least for my green row, I have the shade Trailhead from Cine Grace Cosmetics and I thought that this would be a nice shade to include because it's a really, really deep green. It actually has a little bit of like a gray kind of blackness to it, but I thought that would make it a little bit more versatile in this color story to where you could deepen up the pinky and the red shades. And because it's not just a true green, I thought it would help it not be muddy. So I thought it was a good a good idea. This one was from their Mountain Trail bundle that they recently released. So there is Trailhead. And I hope you can see it does have a little bit of a green undertone, but it's kind of like that gray, blacky, I don't know. I just thought I would do that one. You could definitely do something more green if that's what you're into, if you're trying to recreate this or I don't know. I don't know if anyone's trying to recreate this. So anyways, all right, now jumping into the last row. First, I have the shade Sweet Sop from Sydney Grace Cosmetics. I can't remember this was, it was in one of their green bundles, but it's a really, really beautiful, intense metallic green. And I just thought it would work really well for this this bundle just because I wanted to do a true metallic green. I thought it would add a lot of value to this color story. So there is Sweet Sop. So beautiful, so intense, it's crazy. All right, next is one of my favorite shades and I just knew I had to include this because there could not be a more perfect shade for this color story than Asteria from Divina Cosmetics. This is one of their Galaxy Dust shadows and it's so beautiful. I don't know if you can tell, but it has a true red base and then it shifts completely to green. So that's what I have on my outer half of my lid today. So I thought, 
bubblegum to Asteria is just perfection because they both have pink and red undertones but they have that intense green shift so it looks so cool going all the way through because as I'm moving my eye the green shift is the same as it moves but it still has that dimension of going from a light pink to a red which I love I just think it's one of the coolest shades and also it doesn't it's it shows up if you use this all over the eyelid as like a true red to green shift like you can completely see it but it doesn't have a super deep black base to it which I appreciate so I feel like it just it's so beautiful I can't I can't speak highly enough of this shade I just love it it's kind of interesting to me because this shade was sent to me in the bundles from Davina Cosmetics as PR and I don't know if it's something I would have purchased on my own if I would have been like oh a green to red shift like that's crazy but now that I have it, I'm so glad. And if I like broke or I like lost it or something, I would definitely repurchase it. So there it is. I hope you can see that crazy shift. It's more even more intense in person, but it's really, really beautiful. Okay, last but not least, we have two really beautiful red sheets. So first I have a true metallic red, and this is the shade Blaze from Davina Cosmetics. I'm kind of freaking out because my camera battery just went on dead because I took way too long to film the tutorial for this. So I'm going to try and speed through the rest of the video, but this is such a beautiful metallic red shade. It is stunning. Like, look at that. So intense, so pigmented. I just had to include it with this color story. And then I also have a true matte red. This is Cherry Kiss from Luxie. I had a few different matte reds, but I think they're all like not available now. Or this one, I don't actually no, never mind. This is the new Luxie formula. I totally forgot. I just, as I'm swatching it, I felt it. I was like, this is not the old Luxie formula. So I'm glad I chose this one instead of the colored rain one because I like their red too, but you can't buy it in the single anymore. So there is cherry kiss from luxy beauty so that is the entire palette i don't know if it maybe looks a little bit random because it is such an interesting color story but mostly i was just wanting to go for rose so i think i definitely achieved it and i'm really inspired to do some more looks with this and i love the one i did today so i'm happy that i put it together so there's a little up close of the colors all right, so that is everything for today's Single Shadow Saturday. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely let me know down below. And as always, if you have any suggestions for future Single Shadow Saturdays, just let me know because I have a going list and I always write them down in my notes section on my phone. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.